Hey there, Dr. Dave here with USU Extension. Today's Tuesday two minute tip is all about kindness. Now I've talked about kindness a bunch in the past, but here's some pretty amazing information. First, Martin Seligman, the father of positive psychology, has done all kinds of tests and studies to determine what increases our happiness level. And he has found that an act of kindness produces the single most reliable momentary increase in well-being of any exercise that they've ever done. So it's kindness and why. Now the cool part, why? Kindness produces serotonin. Serotonin inside of our brain is a neurochemical, this neurotransmitter that does several things for us. And it's comparable to antidepressants. Now serotonin is in most antidepressants, but it's produced naturally with an act of kindness. Now what does serotonin do? It does many things. Among those, it helps calm us down. It actually helps us to, uh, helps wounds to heal more quickly. And of course it produces happiness. Serotonin is a happiness boost. So the cool part about this, not only do you receive serotonin, this little boost in your brain, but the receiver of the kindness receives that boost in serotonin. And anyone who witnesses that act of kindness also receives a boost in serotonin. So this has implications, all kinds of implications for you and your family and your kiddos and watching right movies and videos about kindness. That's why we feel good, that serotonin, that, that boost that we need. Now, some pretty cool things also that, that serotonin does for us. It also produces endorphins. Endorphins are like morphine, right? It's a painkiller, so it naturally produces endorphins, which are a painkiller. It also produces another neurochemical that you may have been uh, be familiar with called oxytocin. Oxytocin is that, that cuddle hormone that makes us feel close to others. It actually boosts trust, trust in other people. Oxytocin uh, boosts the immune system as well. And so kind people get sick less because of the oxytocin in that. So it makes us feel closer to others. It has all kinds of, of benefits. Also, compassionate people, get this, have two times as much DHEA, you can Google that, DHEA actually prevents aging. So kind people, they don't age as fast. No wonder my wife looks like she's 20 years old. Very kind. So kindness actually boosts that DHEA and Compassionate people have, on average, 23% less cortisol. Cortisol is that stress hormone that you don't want. You don't want cortisol flowing through your veins all the time. Stress you got. So, all kinds of reasons to be kind. But that's what's happening. That's why kindness is, is, has so many benefits. Some of the, the, the neurotransmitters and some of the research behind that is, is pretty fascinating. Now, one of my favorite quotes on kindness is actually by Theodore Isaac Rubin. And he says, kindness is more important than wisdom. And the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. I love that. So kindness is more important than wisdom. So go, be kind, do kind things for others. Teach your children to be kind because the benefits are off the charts. So that's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave with Utah State sharing tips to make life great.